Well, right now I want to talk about base management. Uh, I've been asked very often by various people where to set the crossover on their receiver. Uh, many people, usually from Facebook groups or uh, an audio video forum, claim that uh, that a crossover point, the ideal crossover point is 80 hertz. Actually, that is a, a misnomer. It's a very, very wrong um, information. 80 hertz is the cutoff point where THX uh, give a give as a guideline as the worst case scenario. So what I'm trying to say is that if you can cross over your speakers lower, that will create a much better uh, sound stage and much better sound for your home theater system. Now, obviously not all speakers can be crossed over lower than 80 hertz. There are some speakers that you need to cross over at 100 hertz, uh, 120 hertz, sometimes even 100, 150 hertz. Those are not very good speakers. Uh, you may buy that speak those type of speakers because they fit your decor better, but uh, in reality, in order to get a proper surround sound, um, imaging and steering, you will need the speaker to be crossed over at the very worst case scenario at 100 hertz, ideally at 80 hertz. Now. Obviously, not all speakers can go lower than 80 hertz. So, if your speakers cut off at 80 hertz, then of course leave it at 80 hertz. But if you have, let's say, a, a tower speakers or you have a mid size bookshelf speakers that can go down to 60 hertz, for example, it's best for you to do that. Cut the crossover point at 60 hertz on your receiver. That will give you a better sound and a better imaging of the sound. This will uh, require more powerful amplification to get the same loudness. But uh, the expense is, uh, to me, it's worth it. Especially if you can get um, an external amplifier. So what you need to do is basically open the specification sheet of your uh, speakers and see where what is the what is the cutoff point um, ideally if the cutoff point let's say it says 80 Hertz uh, at plus minus 3 DB or 60 Hertz at plus minus 3 DB or 40 Hertz even better uh, plus minus 3 DB that will be whatever is the best for uh, your system in terms of what the system can do. So if you have a tower speaker and you set the speaker to speaker crossover point to 80 hertz, that's not going to do that justice with uh, with the equipment you have. Uh, you're wasting your money uh, on your equipment. So to recap, remember 80 hertz cutoff point is only recommended by THX as the worst case scenario in order to get good sound. So if you can cut off your speakers at 70 hertz, 60 hertz, 50 hertz, 40 hertz, it will be better for sure. I can guarantee you that. Thank you for watching this segment. And uh, if you like uh, the segment, please put a, click a thumbs up share and subscribe to my channel and um, I'll see you next time.